case you run into legal issues or in case there's infringement issues or in case there's things financially that get tiring, you want to make sure that you can snap that part of your brand off and continue existing. It's like cancer or any other disease where you want to be able to isolate the issue and move forward. So these are things that you learn, sometimes trial and error, sometimes from meeting people that might have done it before you, sometimes schooling. Most of us, I'm sure, have a combination of both. That's very important. Being able to get from under a brain is just as important as being able to stand on top of one. Okay, and we're gonna have that as a closing comment for this question. Round of applause for everybody for the first question. It's a fair game, man. Game is zero, zero. You can post your album just like a big job. A big job, you can post somebody out. And if you got a decent album, you can build your fan base off the internet. So you feel it's level the playing field? It's level the playing field for a lot of people out of business, the major labels. Ain't no air dogs no more. Ain't no white. Unless you're the, unless you're the top dog labels. Ain't, none of that. ain't no artist development. Ain't no promo packages. It's just put, put it on the internet, a couple of ads. Worry about, go shoot somebody, and that's your promotion. You know what I'm saying? Go shoot somebody. Man, page, man, page, man, page, man, page, man, page, man, page, man, flip ball. I, I have to touch on that because I, I just got, I just came back to New York on Tuesday, and everything that you said exactly is when I walk up in these corporate offices, these death jams, and these universals, and these Sonys. I have an artist, by the way. Man, Judge the boss. He has all that look that you're saying, but there was something they were saying about if you don't have great internet presence, you're not irrelevant. Yeah. It could be past, it could be old, it could be new. If you're not moving, means you artists need to stop being lazy and get up and do the work. Because everybody on this panel can help you in some some type of way. But it got. But at the end of the day, you have to see your vision of where you're going. A lot of people don't know where they're going, so that's why they stay off this brand. They got this brand, they got this brand. You got to stick to one script. If you don't stick to your one concept of, of, of element, you get lost in the shuffles. When you go see these a and R's, like you're right, they're not a and R's no more. They're DPs, and they can care less about the music business. They, they talk to each other, just to let you know, they talk to each other. If you're not in their circle, you're not relevant. You know, so all you artists need to just take your notes out. You know, you write your pads in your phone. You know, y'all need to really take notes because we're not up here just to tell y'all. We're here to show y'all, and it's a proven fact. Some things you can't get on the internet. You gotta be in the game for years of experience. Years of experience is better than the internet. The internet just speeds up the process. I have to tell you, you have to learn your history. You have to learn your history. You can't move in hip hop if you don't know your history. You don't know who Cool Herb is. You don't know who the beat mine is. You might as well leave. Do you understand? On the, you know, all having equal footing and getting a fresh start. On a Monday, I could do a campaign for an artist that no one has ever heard of before. And because of what it is and the quality of the music and the way certain, you know, editors who I pitch to gravitate towards the music. It could all of a sudden just start, I don't say like it's going viral, but it start people are starting to become hip. Biggie dropped his first tape ready to die. We was downtown Brooklyn and we had to go physically get the tape and touch the tape, unwrap the tape. Damn. Really, really did it and hold up, threw it in our Walkmans, back on the train. We listening to the album front and back. When you first got your DOS Effects album, when you first got your Black Moon album, the internet took that away. Yeah, yeah. I think that's what fast like. It has definitely changed the And DJ would be like they, they are going to solidify your brand. Like, they're going to make this real for you. Like, the, that couch, it is not real. Like, that's a virtual uh, marketing company. It is virtual. Um, so, so it is very important. Don't think you, you can just survive on the internet. You can't. You have to go out there. You have to touch the people. It is just not about the internet. Do you know how many people hit me per day on the internet with some new songs, new music? But if I don't know you, and you know how fast my timeline is traveling, I'm gonna miss it. Not that I just, you, I just missed it. And so don't think that if you send out the rule of marketing, I believe, and it might might have changed since the internet, was 10%. So if I have 10,000 followers, I'm going to reach 10% of those people, a thousand. 
you know, and now can I get a thousand to buy my record or buy my product? You're gonna get 10% of that 10%. So it, know that, that this is a, a full-time job. If you work, if you work full-time to provide for, you, for this lifestyle, you have to work eight more hours because it's another job. And, and so it's not just about online. You gotta get from behind the computer and get in front of people and let them know you as well. I think that's what's gonna separate the, the computer artist and the real artist. Um, and then from there, I sprang off to the young black teenagers, and I was opening shows for the young black teenagers. And then from there, I bumped into uh, Bookshot Shorty and Evil P, and we, we did the How Many MCs uh, video. This was years ago, it must have been like 12, 13 years old. Yeah, you did the How Many MCs. I was at the video shoot, yeah. Yeah, the video shoot. yeah I was at the video shoot. Just the video. Uh, but what I'm saying is, like, I kept on growing as a young buck, and I'm here now. You know what I'm saying? So, it's just like, it's like school. I was always independent. I don't know, like, you know, we, we're talking, you know, uh, major, and I have never went and went to a major label with my product. I've always thought independent. You've been sure independent? In always, game. always. I mean, I guess it was my, my street mentality, hustling in the street, having my own little crew. You know, we would do our own things, you know. Um, but we're independent, I think that's, you know, it's, it's, it's building an entrepreneur, and the, and the major labels are just going to give you that access to the Grammys. I think that's kind of it. <laughs> that's it. That's all they do is give you that access. Like, all right, you're cool enough there. That's the difference between Grammy and the Soul Train. I want to get Matt Diamond when he does uh, well, well, here's a, a secret about how the internet. Well, one of us was about to sign a bad contract. Somebody was going to be like, yo, son, slow down. Check that out. You wasn't rich. We ain't come from that. We ain't have attorneys and all kind of uh, accountants and stuff like that. So we shared an accountant. You know what I mean? We shared attorneys, and we, we rock with somebody. Um, and as a matter of fact, my piggyback, my we prison is, a, is a, you know, the barter system, and that's how we live in the community. You know what I mean? Through community, we come in unity. So for me, that's how I sustain my business. You know what I mean? A lot of a lot of um, a lot of people will offer you things. I've I've had some crazy wacky meetings with cats offering me money, and it's just like it's not worth it for me to take the bread. I'd rather have my 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 uh, my foundation so I can have. Uh, longevity and and another thing like we also ran you know we came from a place where it was like what they what they call a big six yeah it's like big two right now right right right, right. it's like the, the the majors with they major money couldn't even sustain so the business that's where the business took them the business brought them 360 degrees right back to your pop beat you're still an mc at the end of the day I don't care if you're catching a major feature, you're still an MC at the end of the day, but you gotta stay true to your group. Don't do no Superman extra shit, because it's not gonna work. You'll die, you kill yourself. I think Look. another thing is not getting discouraged, you know what I mean, or quitting the first time something don't work. You know what I mean, you gotta keep at it. You know, keep investing your money, keep investing your time, and just keep pushing forward. Because if you give up, then you'll never know know what it could have been. But you know what? There's a lot of people that invest in, invest in money but don't know where to invest the money into. Exactly. You know, touch on that. Definitely touch on that because I know a lot of kids, a lot of hustle kids, they got big money and they think they can come to New York and get a major deal. But these people are not talking to you because again, at the end of the day, you come into them on a street level but they don't understand street level, they understand big numbers. So my thing as an independent street dude, what I would do is hire people that knows the lane. And I put money into that. Don't just say you want a record label. <laughs> a record label, anybody can get a record label, but you, you gotta take on those roles. Don't say, you know, we got so-and-so records, we popping over here, but y'all don't got no team and y'all don't got nothing. Y'all don't know nothing about no publishing, y'all don't know nothing, but y'all want 50% of the artist's deal. Yeah, they just throwing money. But Bonafi, bon it's just un, 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 it's disrespectful to the artists. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So again, longevity. You have to be creative from the beginning to the end. That's longevity to me. And you gotta stay true to yourself in your heart. Jason, how do you feel about longevity? 
Site is a good thing too because you can get Facebook and all that stuff for free. But your site is gonna have everything. It's gonna have where they could connect to you. It's gonna have all your videos. It's gonna have your discography, your pictures, whatever. And, and, and what he's saying is that's an EPK for those that don't understand what that is. That's, Home base. That means everything into one where I can go on the internet and go to your official website to know about you. So whatever artists you don't know about, underground or major, you can Google them. You know their name and you like their music. It that's, should be something to that direct be the first you. thing that come up, your website. Wow. You know? It has everything central where they could get to everything else after that. And a lot of people don't know to get good internet presence, make sure you hashtag whatever you're doing. That hashtag, somebody told me that hashtag gives you good Google space on Google and people can find you more when you hashtag something. So always push pound on whatever your movement is. It'll Don't pop up 20 billion times. But if you do it 20 billion times, it'll show and it'll give you good internet presence. It's simple. It's like, if, if you're not real to yourself, they're not gonna, they not gonna mess with you. So the fan base won't gravitate to Yeah, the, the fan base. You gotta, you know, you can't get discouraged for any little thing because there's gonna be a lot of people on your way there that's always gonna try to knock your dream, like just throw you to the side, like, nah, man, that ain't what you gotta, you gotta be doing, you know what I'm saying? But you gotta just be true to yourself. Yeah, do you agree you have to have tough skin <laughs> to maneuver the yeah. industry for years? Once, once it came through, you have to adjust. You either have to adjust or you have to be out. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we had at, when we was at um, D and D, we held on the catalog as long as we could. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like everybody was on Pro Tools except us. We still had them. I hear you, cynical. <laughs> we, <still, laughs> we still, we still was rocking the rails. You know, we still was on tour each day. Yeah, you was trying to keep the vision. Us? We was slicing. We, should, we spice our own tapes. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I, I learned how to edit and all that. But uh. End of the day, you know, it was like, yo, when it changed, you know, you noticed it. Like now, with the change being, it, here's, here's one thing, and Walt said this to me before. I feel like this with the change. What happened was, when it was analog, it was a closed club. You know what I'm saying? We all become yourself, man. As long as they can put money into the marketing and make sure that my name is tagged to it the right way, and I get publicity off of all of that. I'm cool with that. Just make sure you publicize me as well. And if that record's gonna go where it's gonna go, and you figure that the money that you do have, you gotta invest in this or that or a third to get the record there, I'm down with you. You know what I mean? Only for a certain amount of time. Though. After three months, it's a wrap. <laughs> That's what, so we're gonna wrap it up with that right there. So what anybody? She don't need no mic, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> So I'm gonna 